I just discovered a Visual Studio Code set up that made me instantly uninstall Cursor. I'm not joking. Listen, I know that everyone is making Visual Studio Code videos, but this, this is different. I combined the Claudia 3.5 newest one with the Super Maven extension and the client extension in a way that it's just perfect. Here is the crazy part. Not only I'm coding faster than I did with Cursor, but I am doing it without paying every single month the twenty dollar. I'm using the Claudia API, which allow me to pay as much as I can. Basically, pay as you go and use it only when I need it. And the AI completion is absolutely free, zero, nada. In the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you the complete setup. It's literally take like five minutes to create. And why this combination is kind of destroying the cursor ecosystem and some mind blowing tricks that I have discovered that will make you question how we are prompting for our coding in the future. So that's enough talking, let's just dive in. In Visual Studio Code, go to the extension tab and write client S L I N E. There is two you will find with the same icon, but but don't click this one, the one with Chinese. Click this one that's named Klein, previously known and as Claudia.dev and install it. It's not that popular as it should be. Honestly, it should be a million download, not just 100,000. And the other extension that we need is called Super Maven. The Super Maven will allow us to do the tap, tap, tap automation completion like the cursor that have. It have a free tier that's extremely good in compilation. After installing Klein on your Visual Studio Code and Super Maven, all you have to do is go to the Klein icon over here and click on the settings. The settings have this very minimalistic selection of what you can do with it. And the first thing that we need to select is the ABI provider. There is few, which is kind of bummer, the first one is Anthropica that you should choose. And you need to get your API key from the Anthropica API key page. All you have to do is go to console.anthropica.com and the dashboard have get API keys and there you can get your API keys from over there. Copy and paste it and put it inside your Visual Studio code input over here. Select the Sonnet, the latest Sonnet model. And in a few days we will have a better model that's called the Heiko 3.5, which is even cheaper than the Sonnet 3.5, and it performs very good at coding also. And before we end and click done over here, select this check mark, always approve read only operation. This is will save you a lot of time. Why? Because client when in work, he will request access for every single page. And for me, it got annoying at some point. So all I have to do is check this one and click done. And right now is client is ready to be used. And for the super Maven extension, click on its icon. When you open it will request logging in inside super Maven so you can use it. And don't worry about it set up in everything except just basically create an account and connect it to Visual Studio Code. Super Maven have this free tier, the free tier that it will be zero dollar and it give you fast and high quality code completion without being anything. Super Maven is kind of overkill for this setup because trust me, client will not make you write a lot of code after you will see what it can do. Right now, the setup is complete and done and we can see it in action. But before we do that, I wanna share with you a trick that I have been using lately which is called Enhance Prompt. Enhance a Prompt, it sounds very easy, but it's extremely effective when you use it. What I have been doing, I write the prompt inside bold.new, which is an amazing also uh, focused full stack AI code editor in the web. And I give it the initial prompt that I want here. I wanna create the main blog page using dark theme and an orange color in Tailwind, make 10 blog posts, with this field title description date and featured image and make sure it's modern design and add fake data this prompt doesn't sound that bad 
but when you click this button which will make the prompt even better as you can see here it changed the kind of style of the prompt and improved it create a modern blog home page with a dark theme and orange eggs and color using tailwind css include a grid of 10 blog posts each featuring eye-catching title description public date high quality feature image modern car design responsibly out dark mode optimized contrast populate with realistic simple content i didn't have to write all of this but right now i can copy it and go back to client and let's paste it over here and see what will happen the cool thing that here the client can actually understand what kind of project structure that you're using i'm using next gs 15 which is the newest version of next gs and it automatically detected and understand where it should add files inside app would be gs which is actually correct and right now it started on the process of rewriting the current page to gs original page that we had and adding the new code that it generate when it's done it will ask for you to save or reject i always of course you save and it will continue adding the style then receive one more right now it's asking for run this command nbm run dev and i actually gonna run this command as it requested you don't have to write the command yourself it will automatically write it inside the terminal which make it even better right now it's running on the local host awesome this is the result that i got as the main page as you can see here it did exactly what i asked it for using orange color using dark seam and it's have this kind of hovering effect when i cursor go inside it have a footer it have a nav bar like categories and home and about and it give it a name take insight it's really decent i mean it's very simple but it's really easy on the eye and it's extremely beautiful i will say that i went back to blog.new and i asked it to create the single page post using the same style i didn't specify what kind of style because this is really cool you can ask klein to look to a certain page and tell it i want this style in this page and it will copy it and i want to make it look real and add fake data don't make it super long and add more post at the end and of course the category of this post and let's hit enhance this prompt let's see okay it created kind of list for what it should do i'm gonna copy it i'm not gonna need even read it i'm gonna go to client and hit enter i also noticed something odd since the update of the claudia 3.5 new the model is slightly slower and also i feel like it sometimes gives me error the api call failed and it when i click retry again it actually work here the api request failed as i said and if i hit retry it should work this time yeah immediately working here what i like about it that it detected what kind of design i wanted and it even modifying the tailwind configuration.js file automatically and because we will give it the capability of reading every single file that we have always approve read only operations it will automatically will read it without asking for permission once more i'll show you what it need to do i need to do fix the esl and error and add the tailwind typography and update the tailwind configuration all of this is not done by you it's automatically detecting what's going on in your project and fixing it without even asking this is why i said it's better than cursor in my opinion all you have to do is just hook it up with a decent model like the claudia 3.5 and see it working and here it is right now working when i click read more go to the post page i don't know is sarah johnson but it doesn't matter the design is extremely clean this is this is insane i didn't write a line of code except just the nbm uh, install next gs latest that's it and everything right now have been done so far is giving it an prompt and clicking save and run the command i didn't do anything this is insane for me 
it saves a lot of time for me because right now I can focus on what I want in terms of detail. This is a new trick that I have learned but a while ago. When you want to create some sort of form or an ABI that will result a JSON format, you give it this JSON format that you want as a result and ask it to create the logic or the code that will give you these results. It's kind of reverse JSON prompting. It's what it's called, if I remember it correctly. Here I give it, I want to create a page with a form keeping the same style of the main page of the blog, and it should have these fields, title, description, content, and image box for uploading and reviewing the image and category. And I'm gonna hit enhance the prompt. And once more, it formatted like this. I didn't want it to be formatted like this, but the idea behind it in you give it a JSON format, especially if you are using an ABI logic, and it will generate for you the code that you want. Right now, let's go back to client and see what it can do. And this is the final result that I got from the submit post page. Actually, it's extremely decent. I know it's not that great, but it's very good. Title, description, the category, and it should be drop down. And here, image upload, and here you can write the content. And of course, it activated the links inside the nav bar, like the home page right now is working. If I click this in your post, it will go for it. Let's go this one. Yeah, it's working also. And there is this kind of related post that you can click on. And it will automatically take you based on the slug of the blog. Very good. That's it for this video. I don't want to make it any longer. I hope that you enjoyed and learned something new in this video. If you found this video respecting your time and providing you with valuable information, please hit the like. It will help my channel a ton. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.